Hi, my name is John Gallagher, and I'm lead TSA for BMC Software. In this session, I'm going to discuss how you can configure Remedy Single Sign-On with the Digital Workplace Catalog. In terms of the agenda, I'm going to start out with an overview of Remedy Single Sign-On, followed by the architecture, and then I'll discuss some of the things you need to look out for, and I'll finish off with an end-to-end -end demonstration. BMC Remedy Single Sign-On is the single point of entry for users accessing BMC applications. So the idea here is that once you've initially authenticated via RSSO, you will not be asked for your credentials again. The product itself is very easy to install, and as far as the, the integrations are concerned, we have installers available for a variety of BMC applications. With regard to the Digital Workplace Catalog, as we synchronize ITSM users without passwords, RSSO is actually a requirement in a production environment to consume catalog services from the client. I'd just like to point out here that JSSO and our older SSO solution, ASSO, are not supported within the catalog. As far as the RSSO process flow is concerned, if you follow the steps in the illustration here, you'll see that once the user attempts to access the client, he's automatically redirected to the RSSO server which in turn uses whatever authentication type is defined, has been defined within the realm. And once the authentication takes place, a token and cookie are created in the RSSO database. And it's this token and cookie which is subsequently used as a means to authenticate between applications. First of all, Digital Workplace Catalog 1802 supports RSSO 9103 and above. However, for RSSO versions later than 9103, we need to copy the respective JAR files from the RSSO install package. The overall procedure to configure RSSO is very straightforward. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is to install and set up the RSSO server. And then once that's done, we'd need to run the RSSO installer on the mid tier the AOR server, the DWP Tomcat server, and to make RSSO aware of the applications, we then need to group them into a realm within RSSO admin. The next step is to set up the mid-tier and the digital workplace client to ignore the tenant domain. And this step is to ensure that some admin users are able to log into the catalog. HANA admin is the default catalog admin user, but ideally, once you've run your synchronization, you'd assign an ITSM user this permission. But just make sure to provide this admin user with a fixed license within the user form on the catalog server. The last step is to configure RSSO on the catalog side. So up until recently, this was a very manual process. However, engineering has since provided a script which automates the configuration. And just make sure the XML editor, XML startlet is installed and your Java home is set before running it. When you install the catalog for the first time, you'll notice a hidden RSSO directory. And it's this directory which contains all the files required for the integration with RSSO. But starting with 1802, there is actually another configure underscore RSSO directory. And if you look at the table here, you can see all of the files which are moved and updated by the script. So you can just imagine the amount of time you'll save by running it. And just to note here, uh, the current version, which is available with 1802, contains hard-coded references. So please use the updated script, which is attached to the KA. One other thing, to highlight here is that if you're using RSSO 9104 or 1802, please don't forget to copy over these jar files. So let's get stuck into a demonstration. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download and install Remy Single Sign-On. So please follow the instructions as documented online here. 
Just one thing to bear in mind, it doesn't actually come with Tomcat, so you need to have Tomcat set up on your server before you kick off the installer. So you can see on my server here, I have Tomcat running. And once that's there, I kick off the installer. And this installer is actually asking me to upgrade, but obviously if it was a new installer, it would ask you to install a brand new version. And you just follow the prompts um, as documented online. So you would actually run the same installer on the AR system server, the mid-tier server, and the MyIT server as well. And just one thing to bear in mind, if you're using a Remy single sign-on 1802, you actually need to copy uh, the RSSO agent jar file from that directory, and then we need to actually pick up the RSSO area jar file from that one. And finally, the JSON jar file. And these files need to be copied into their respective directories as I outlined in the table. Next thing we need to do is set up the Realm itself. So you can see in this case, I've created a brand new JG1802 Realm. You can call it anything really. And this is my uh, Digital Workplace Client Server, my Mid-Tier Server, and my Digital Workplace Catalog Server. And coffee.com is my domain that I use to log into Catalog. And uh, obviously we need to make sure that the connection to the AOR server is okay. So you click on the test button. It should be all right. And we need to make sure that user ID transformation is set to remove email domain. And finally, just double check to make sure that the path here is correct. Should be by default. Just make sure that there's nothing else in there. And once we're satisfied with those changes, then we can move on to setting up the mid-tier and MyIT digital workplace servers to ignore the tenant domains. So let's log on to the mid-tier server first. So you can see uh, I've already created a uh, RSSO authenticator.properties file and set to ignore tenant equals to true. And then you just update the config.properties file Next thing we need to do is update the catalina.properties file with the path. And then we need to, go to reflect the Tomcat service path in here as well. And, and this is all documented online in the section I just showed you. So once that's done, obviously we need to do the same thing for the digital workplace client server uh, to ignore the temp domain. And we do that by editing this file the SSO SDK properties and just set ignore dash tenant to equal to true there as well. So let's just quit out of the file. And once that's done, then we're pretty much ready to run the configure RSSO script. And you can see I'm in this configure underscore RSSO directory and before we we run it, I'm just going to change permissions here. Make them read, write, execute. And I'm going to install the XML startlet package, which is the XML editor that's the script that the script requires. So it shouldn't take long. Okay, there we are. All right, now we are ready to run the script. So do uh, just copy it and then do a dot forward slash. And just kick it off. I'm just going to put in my agent ID. I'm just going to call it DWP ID. And I'm going to put in the URL where my RSSO server is. Make sure you have the port slash RSSO. Copy and paste that. And I can paste the same URL for the service. And now I need to put in coffee.com as my tenant domain when I was setting up the digital workplace catalog, T 
DWB admin is the admin user and the password. So just bear in mind, don't copy and paste passwords here. Ah, okay, so I got the wrong password, so I'm just gonna type it again. Just make sure that you type the passwords manually because I have seen problems with that before. And uh, it it uh, it has uh, the effect of of misconfiguring the system. So now we need to put in the HANA admin user and the domain. And I'm gonna manually, again, manually type in that password. And yeah, that's it. So you can see how quick that is. The last thing we need to do to initialize all of that is to simply restart the Digital Workplace Catalog Server. DWP controller, stop. And let's start again. Let's make sure I've got the right password this time. Okay. That should roughly take a minute or two to come up. There we go. System's up. So before we log into the Digital Workplace catalog, let's just have a quick look at the plugin server configuration file. You can see it created a backup file before the script updated it. So let's just have a quick look and see. You don't have to do this, but it's just interesting to see how it adds it on to the end of the file. So you can see our entry there for ARSIS area or SSO. And let's have a look at the AOR.conf as well. Uh, let's go down to the end of the file. And uh, you can see the plugin alias area area in there as well. Yeah. So there's no reason why this shouldn't work. And it would have updated the configuration as well. So let's test it. Uh, I'm going to log on to a server here. Uh, try, yeah, let's try this one paste in the service broker or digital workplace catalog URL. This is now known. I just paste that in. And you can see it's redirected me to the Orzizo, uh, uh login page. So I'm gonna type my Alan user and password. And you can see it's taking me straight into the Digital Workplace catalog page. So that obviously indicates a successful integration. With regard to the knowledge articles that I've listed here, the first one contains a copy of the automation script itself, in addition to instructions for running it. And the second knowledge article contains more information as, you'd ha as to how you would debug Remedy Singer sign-on from the catalog side. As far as the documentation is concerned, the first link contains information about integrating Remedy Singer sign-on with the catalog, and the second one is more specific to Remedy Singer sign-on itself. Thanks for watching.